on that on our app. Big pushback tonight against a proposed turnpike extension planned through Norman. From City Hall up to leadership at the state capitol, lawmakers tell our Barry Mangold they either doubt or downright oppose this plan. Barry's live at the capitol now. Yeah, Amanda Carl, less than two weeks ago today, the Oklahoma Turnpike Authority announced its plan to build two new turnpikes that cut through Norman. Today, a group of Democrats deliberately tried to stop that from happening, and we now know there's a rally planned here for later this month. This closed-door decision-making process, it's not acceptable. Norman Representative Marilyn Bell speaking after an attempt to pass legislation that would halt the state's plan to expand the Kickapoo Turnpike into Norman. That attempt failing. If the OTA and the Department of Transportation had reached out before publishing this map, the public response would have surely given them pause. The Oklahoma Turnpike Authority plans to build two new turnpikes through North and Eastern Norman. Norman Senator Rob Standridge is the majority whip and says he is concerned about the number of private properties that could be impacted and the potential effects on the local water supply. I'm actually seriously looking at how I can use my position and my seniority to make a difference and to slow down the conversation to make sure that everything has been looked at. Last week, hundreds attended a heated town hall to discuss the plans. Senator Mary Boren says she's helping a group that plans to rally at the Capitol March 23rd. I wouldn't say that I am organizing a rally, but I can say that I am welcoming a rally. And the OTA does not yet have an estimate on how many private properties could be impacted by the construction of these new roadways. It says that the design phase and environmental studies for these projects will take place later this year. Live at the Capitol, Barry Mangold, Oklahoma's own News 9. Okay, Barry.